Okay, so this is going to be the the warm welcome uh, thief quest clip warp. Um, I'm going to be doing it twice. First of all, I'm just going to be showing you what the clip warp itself looks like, and then I'm going to actually go through and do the thief quest to show you how it works in action. So just uh, as a reminder of how clip warps work, it's basically when you stand still or are moving around on solid ground long enough that the game considers you to be safe so that when you get stuck or voided out it teleports you back to that place. So I'm going to be setting my position to be safe here just for example. Now I'm going to be jumping up here uh, keeping my position all the way back there. Now when we actually do the quest you're going to start behind these boxes you're going to move over here kind of align your camera so that you're in a good place um, and we're gonna be aiming for that for this little wall to beneath me and to the right we're gonna be jumping off and holding forward to get stuck in that wall now it's important that you jump off and like not walk off or else you won't get stuck properly it's also important that while you're falling you don't hit the edge of this little boardwalk I'm jumping on right now so it's gonna look like this get stuck here and as you can see it teleported me right over here now I'm gonna go back over here to show you how it's actually done in real time so you talk to the master start the quest this is pretty much always gonna be the first thing you do in the level so you come straight to the master and you're gonna talk to him to start the quest so you don't have to take the upper level, it's a little bit faster. You can just walk around if that's easier for you. Now we're going to be setting our clip position here. So you want to stay here. And then jumping, jumping, jumping. Pretty much never stop jumping. We're going to be going around this boardwalk here. All the way back to where we were. It's just a different way of getting there. Um, one thing to note, there's going to be a cutscene halfway up this ramp here, so make sure you skip through that so you don't lose your position. Um, go invisible, because there's going to be another cutscene up here that you're going to want to skip through. Alright, so one thing to note is your camera's pretty much locked until you move out. So now I can move it. Another thing to note, that dialog box that just appeared on screen, you want to make sure that that is off screen before you attempt this. So there you go. Now we're over here, we press B to lower the bridge, and if you're doing the fast route for this level, you'd go back to the beginning and do the save jump for the black arrow. If you're doing the safer route, you wait here for about, uh, I don't know how long it is, like 20, maybe 40 seconds, I don't know. It's a long time, but it's safer. You wait here, and then the quest is automatically going to complete itself. Now, a uh, brief explanation. The reason you want to wait for that dialog box to disappear uh, when you're over there, um, if you uh, successfully do the clip warp while that box is still on screen, when you teleport over here, you will instantly die. And I think it counts as being seen by the thief. Um, but in any case, it is not what you want to happen. So I'm going to wait here just long enough for the thief to show back up. He's completely deloaded, by the way. Like, um, There you go. So he shows up, and the quest ends, but we don't have to actually do any of it. So there you go. That's the thief quest.